together as a people. Nearly 300 people gathered at Monroe Park to listen to performers and speakers rally about workers' rights and the need to continue to fight for social equality. Uh, reclaim our rights, celebrate what we have won, and recognize the struggle that we have ahead of us. The third May Day rally led to a parade of flags, signs, and puppets with music by the No BS Brass Band. People marched through Monroe Park up to Harrison Street and Broad Street, a parade that wasn't legal. In late April, a federal judge denied the May Day Coalition a permit because the group didn't want to pay for security from off-duty police officers. Because uh, if it's limited to, the, to whether or not any, someone can afford it, that, whether they can um, express those rights, yeah, I have a problem with that and a lot, everyone here obviously does too. Organizers warned marchers to stay on the sidewalks, but many didn't listen. Police didn't show up until the parade reached Broad Street. The parade finished without any arrests. May Day is also known as International Workers' Day, which is to recognize and appreciate social and economic achievements of the international labor movement. The idea of a workers' holiday came about after the 1886 Haymarket Massacre, when Chicago police fired against union strikers and killed a dozen people. Twenty-five different organizations came together to form the Richmond May Day Coalition, such as the Students for Democratic Society at VCU. Member Nicholas DePhillips says workers' rights are still important. It's important because we can't be free and equal if the majority of us in the world are put down. As May Day came to an end, organizers agreed to continue to fight for social justice, freedom and equality for every worker. For VCU Insight, I'm Junlin Tran.